This video is all about non-verbal reasoning, particularly questions on make a pair. We'll be looking into three examples. Number one, this is the question. So you can pause the video right here to try out on your own. All right, first let's understand the layout of the question. So can you see a colon here in between? Yes, and you have both the left side as well as the right side of the colon. When you look at the left side, you can see there, there are two patterns and the first pattern is transformed into the second pattern, which is shown by the arrow here, all right? Same way in the right side, you need to transform this pattern into one of the patterns and you need to find which one is that and you have options a to e to choose from okay being said that let's dive in so here as you can see the arrow is pointing to the right side and when you see in the second transformed pattern it is inside the box which is down which means the arrow is turned clockwise this arrow here, which is pointing to the right side, is turned clockwise, so it will point down and it will go inside this box. Likewise, if I'm looking at this pattern, the arrow here, which is pointing to the right side, should turn down, all right, and it should go inside this oval. So if I look into this options, I can see only C, D, and E with the arrow that is pointing downwards. This one has an up arrow, so I can cross out this so this will not come option b is not there same way if i look at this a option it has a double sided arrow which is which it cannot be so we can rule out option a as well so we have left out with c d and e now look at this uh, pattern the first one here the squares that are inside the pattern are uh, arranged sequentially say uh, the top one and then the bottom one and then the middle one top bottom and the middle one all right so it should be arranged in that fashion so when i look in this pattern it should be the top bottom and middle one which means two white circles and the black circle so when i look at this option only c is having two white circles and then a black the other d and e option doesn't go with the rule so I can cross out D and E and C is the right answer. All right, let's move to the second question. And you can pause the video right here if you want to try out on your own. All right, based on the question one, let's try to solve this question. Okay, so this first pattern is transformed into the second pattern. And when I look into it, this pattern is just upside down. It is just turned uh, clockwise, all right? When you move it, the triangle that is pointed here in the upside, all right, will change into the triangle that is pointed down, like it will stay the same, okay? And now what happens to the uh, shape, the pattern that is inside here? When you change it, the circle should be on the left side, all right? But here, the pattern is changed. It is interchanged. The circle goes to the right. The square, which has to be on the right side, has gone to the left, all right? So this is the transformation rule. And based on this rule, we need to find how this third pattern is changed into one of the options, all right? So. If you look at this, this will be turned into upside down again, right? And the triangle which is pointing up will be pointing down, all right? And it will be on the left side. So the triangle on the left side and it is pointing down. All right, look at this. If you move this shape upside down, if you rotate or clockwise, then the triangle which is now pointed to the upside, it will come down and it will be pointing to the down yeah all right so this the pointed triangle which is pointing to the down downside it will be on the left so if you look at this kind of pattern in one of the options then only b and c has the same pattern 
all right this a has square on the left so you can rule out a and if you look at option d that also has a square on the left so you can rule out d and if you look at option e here the triangle is pointing to the upside which is not correct so you can also rule out option e so now we have only two options b and c left now let's look at the inner inner pattern here so when you look at the inner pattern in, it will be interchanged so when it is turned around the triangle should be on the left side right but this will come to the right so only the b has the option which has the triangle on the right side b is the answer number 3 you can pause the video right here to try on your own all right so this first pattern is transformed into the second pattern so if you look closely you can see this dotted line the dotted line here is stays the same but the triangle here has moved clockwise all right so the triangle has moved to this side and the uh, colors have been interchanged which means the black has become white and white has become black so this is the pattern here so same way if i look into this third one so i see this dotted line here to the right side middle and same way the dotted line should be in the same place all right if i look into this only a has the dotted line in the same place and option d has the dotted line in the same place so which means i can rule out option b and option c and option e they have the dotted line in different places all right so i'm left with option a and d now this semicircle is moved clockwise and it will be a semicircle like this right so that's the same in both options a and d but if you look at the pattern one is plain and the other one is a lined pattern so both are interchanged so this middle part should have a lined pattern and the both the sides should be plain so if i look into that way then option a has the middle part middle one lined pattern and both the sides plain but option d has the same pattern like as in the question which we can rule it out so we can rule out option d as well and option a is the right answer